So we just discussed the first sample set by Smell Stories. Some interesting artistic sense in there. Um, I, I'm Katrine also got herself one. Yeah, um, um, it's got Blossoms as a title, so it attracted me. Blossoms, and um, and it's 25 euros and you just get five samples that they choose for you. Oh, you still have the paper. Yeah, it's I should have kept that. That's easier to see what everything is. No. Um, so, yeah, let me smell some stuff. So for you, it's a first impression. For me, it's a second, third, fourth, fifth already, I think. Yeah, I, I really love them. I think it's poetry in a bottle. Okay. But I, I have one favorite, but I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Okay, the first one. What's it called? One, two, three, Stella by Gabriela Chiefo. Like Stella! Italian. You know Stella? <laughs> this is my aunt Stella. Stella! Stella! Stella Maris? No, I mean... I had a beer. Yeah, no, I no. from a streetcar named Desiree Desire. Hey Stella! I don't know. Anyway. No. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Does it have something boozy or is it just the, the alcohol on my breath that I smell? It's got very uh, particular notes which you, you would think don't really fit with each other but... Something fruity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely have in the beginning, and, and it lasts a long time, you have something really fru fruity. Green Mandarin? Do you get Green Mandarin? Green Mandarin? What does Green Mandarin smell like? Like unripe? Un unripe Mandarin? Yeah. yeah. What else is there? But it, it also has salty notes. Um, yes, I get, this is salty, so yeah, salty yeah. fruity. And, and lots of, yeah, I think, jasmine as well, and um, but, uh, it's a long time ago that I, I looked up on the notes. Um, jasmine, I think a bit of tube rose as well. Yeah, tube rose is in it as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I wore it, uh, I think, th three or four times, and, and each time I wore it, it had different... Um, no sense that's coming forward, but most of the time the green mandarin is very uh, prominent. Oh, the notes are on here. So, yeah. ginger, green mandarin, bergamot, salty notes, yeah. Jasmine, tuberose, lang lang, lilac, musk, sandalwood, patchouli, amber, bitter cocoa. Oh yeah, bitter cocoa, that's a really sexy part of it. And oak moss. Yeah, if you get the cocoa powder, it's really it's very nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. And it has a little text on here that Small Stories um, sent along. And I will breathe from Jasmine's The Tyrant Song in waves of sea and wonder to become another me suspended from you to pursue destinies to enchant happiness. Whatever that means. Yeah, poetry. <laughs> poetry in a bottle. Yeah. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Stella! Stella! By Gabriella Chifo. Yeah. Okay, and then show me the next one. Give me it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, this reminds me of something from my, my like childhood. Uh, childhood, yeah. Have you been living in Berlin or during your childhood or? No. No. <laughs> or yeah. next to a park with Linden blossoms. Oh, this is so sweet, beautiful, sweet floral. So this is one A thirty three. One A thirty three. Yeah, their names are really not uh, not uh, easy to uh, remember. Yeah. By Schwetzlose, Schwetzlose Berlin. This is stunning. Yeah, it's very nice. At first, I thought yeah, uh, it's 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 too innocent for me, but it's not innocent at all. It's really no. complex. Oh dear, this is beautiful. So this has mandarin, pink pepper, spree river droplets accord. 
jasmine sambac, lime tree blossom, magnolia, cedarwood and orris powder. Oh, what does this text say? The lime tree blossom symbolizes the famous Berliner Luft, mm. which swings around the beautiful boulevard of Unter den Linden in the middle of the city. The name of the fragrance itself is based on the former license plates on Berlin cars. 1A stands for Berlin and the number 33 for the company's location in the district of Moabit. Moabit. I haven't been there in Berlin. You've never been to Berlin? No. <gasps> it's a wonderful city. Is it? Do they have an uh, interesting fragrance store? I don't know. I went there to party. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah, it is. I need a full bottle of that, I think. Already? Already. This is just my first impression. I'll see in the dry down, but... In, in the, at your skin? Yeah. Yeah. I will test that. Give me that. Give me You're that going one. To test I'm going to put that on my skin. Yeah. Because yeah. it has a nice uh, evolution. I'm going to put it on here. Mm. Beautiful. Wait. No, no, no. Okay. So... Next one. Mm -hmm. That's some good ones in your box. Yes, they, Her box all, smells better than my box. They're all really very, very nice. Now, what's this called? Villa Nelkut. But it's, it also has a nice story behind it. How do you know about the story? Oh, because I read it here. Okay, let's read it. On the front lawn, among magnolia blossoms, jasmine and sweet-smelling flower beds, somebody has placed a teepee. Something wrong in the centers. Wide marble steps lead to a small private stony beach. On the upper floor of the building, bouquets of roses and vases bursting with fresh, delicate flowers from the garden fill the estate with a magnificent scent. In the spring of 1971, the Rolling Stones arrived at this Villa Nelkot uh, as tax exiles. They basically had no money and they decided to stay at this villa that Keith Richards was leasing. And they spent this supposedly wonderful summer there and they recorded one of their most critically acclaimed albums, Exile on Main Street, in the basement of this villa. Adding to this villa's infamous history, it was also said that it served as uh, Gestapo headquarters in the 1940s because the heating vents were shaped like swastikas and were golden swastikas. The Fragrant Journey blog actually describes this beautifully. They say, the perfume Villa Nelcot opens with the citrus freshness one would picture if standing on the balcony, looking at the expanse of cerulean blue water and the sunlit blue skies above. There is a watery effect that feels like breathing in fragrant sea air. Top notes of grapefruit, bergamot, lemon and lemon flower bring on the sunshine. Elemi oil adds to the lemony tang but adds a deeper woody peppery note. But wait! Underneath all this sunniness I can already smell the mossy undertones which add a bit of mystery and formality to Villa Nilcot. The more formal notes seem to reference that this is, after all, an impressive French chateau with a somewhat storied history. It had been occupied by Nazi forces during World War II and it is located on what is possibly the most expensive real estate peninsula in the world. So, but apparently this wasn't true, the German occupation thing, because there weren't any records of it. And the, the swastika-shaped heating vents were probably not put there by Nazis, but were rather just a, a popular decorating motif in the belle, of the Belle Epoque. And this one has grapefruit, bergamot, petit grain, pink pepper, elemi, lemon flower, violet leaf, rose petals, jasmine, magnolia, osmanthus, black tea, cedar, patchouli, amber, musk, moss, and guayac. Guayac? Guayac. Guayac. Yeah. This is really nice. Yes. Love it too. Very, it's, it's, I don't usually tend to like citrusy fragrances too much, but this is a beautiful because it's not too citrusy, but it's, it, I get the grapefruit and the citrus of it. Uh, yes, but it's it nice, it's, it's nicely balanced with uh, all the flowers in it. Yeah, and it's not only jasmine, but it's, it's lots of flowers. It's like, uh, 
Yeah, a whole mm. mixture. And, flower shop. And you can see the villa in front of you. Yeah, it's a nice story that mm, yeah. suits it nicely. Mm. Villa Nel Cot. It's really, they're Nel all Cot. really extremely long lasting. And for one, I, I was doubting a bit, but I tried it again and then. Uh, they're all extremely long lasting, really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I still prefer the, f the previous one to that one, on the opening at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm curious what you're going to to, to how your re your re re <laughs> reaction will be. Ooh. Okay, this this is balls. Okay. It's my favorite one. Mm. Cherry blossom. Oh, is this cherry blossom? It smells like something so specific from my childhood too. Dolls. And candy. Yeah, like a My Little Pony. <laughs> The sweets scented I My Little Ponies. I didn't have uh, My Little Ponies. Oh, and you still turned out okay. <laughs> they weren't invented yet at that time. Oh, tragic. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So this is Dolls by Moth and Rabbits. That's a cute name. A fragrance carried by vivid extravagant color and an irrealistic story about uncompromising love, all consuming and bordering insanity. Oh, this suits me perfectly. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's, I'm going to buy it. What does this smell like? It smells like more than just dolls. Cherry blossom, geranium, divana, orange blossom, yelang yelang, apple blossom. You, can you say the word yelang yelang? <laughs> what is up? I say Ilang Ilang. Oh, in, Ilang in Ilang. Yeah. That's I easier. don't care. Ylang Ylang. <laughs> Apple Blossom Rose Oil Sweet Maple Accord Musk Snowflake Accord. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. All those notes are really interesting. Yeah. Amber Grease, Cedarwood and Animalic Notes. It smells like... It also smells like some kind of a sugared um, a liquid. soda drink. Yeah. Smells like something, a sweet drink that I had mixed with My Little Pony doll and dolls. I don't know. <laughs> with amaretto also. Really? Sweet maple accord. No, yeah, but, but it's going to develop. Yeah, this is nice. First I was hesitating of the longevity because I thought it didn't last very long, but then I tried it over again. Over and over again, I, I gave it a second and a third chance, and now I, I'm I'm convinced that it's really very long lasting because I I tried it uh, in an afternoon and the next morning I still noticed it. Like some kind of candy. Yeah, candy. It's also very similar to cherry candy, red candy, and it's inspired by a film. So all the perfumes of moth and rabbit are inspired by films. For me, this is too girly, too sweet. On first sniff, I still prefer the Schweiklose Berliner. But it's really nice. Get mm. a full bottle of that. Yeah. Get me a decant. Okay. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and then this one. Brooklyn. Oh, is this by Gullivant? Yeah. Let's see, Brooklyn. Yeah. Nice. I, I like it a lot, but if I have to rate them, this would be the least yeah. one for me. Yeah. I, I still need to go back. I'm not sure. Yeah, of course. This smells very citrusy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why but I... But a nice one. Yeah, it's, it's original, but... Still, so, yeah, it's not, not my cup of tea, citrus tea. So Brooklyn, a lazy May afternoon in the sun at Park Slope, warmth on the skin, small flowers in the grass, fresh air. So very citrusy, fresh, very fresh. And lemonade. Floral. Lemonade. I, I get lemonade as well, and it's marked on the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely lemonade, but a good kind. Yeah, that's why... Well, I don't like lemonade, maybe that's why... <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good imitation. Bergamot, squeezed lemon, orange juice, incense, cardamom, fresh air, ozonic notes, magnolia, orris root, transparent flowers, musks, benzoin, white woods, and amber. 
There's something that, for me, is, is a kind of a contradiction in it. Maybe or the incense? Or, or the cardamom. Mm -hmm. That doesn't it's fit with the, with the whole... But that's, that's a note that makes it uh, lemonade-like, I think. It's, it is exactly lemonade, mm -hmm. you are very right. So yeah, this is definitely not my favorite from Gallivan. I got the entire sample set. And there are some really nice ones. I like Los Angeles and Tokyo that I can remember. And the, there was an amber one as well that was quite nice. But um, no, this one. Do you have already a favorite? Or yes, I, we're gonna revisit, revisit them yeah. quickly. Yeah. So which one is this? I don't remember what is what, but. Oh, oh God, this is beautiful. What is this one? It's a, a one, two, three Stella. It's a green mandarin uh, I have now. It's a what? It's a green mandarin. Oh, the green. Yeah, now it's much clearer and it's a sweet, a sweet citrus with the tuberose and the... Yep. Yeah, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is currently at my number one because it's the first one. And then, ooh, this also reminds me of something specific. Yeah, this is the Schwarzlot, I think. Yeah, the, I love this one. Mm. This is just so beautiful. This is pretty. Mm. Like if a girl is just wearing a dress like yours and just, just a pretty floral dress, flowers in her hair, walking through a park. She's innocent, but sexy. This is really fresh and sweet and floral and... Yeah, I also have that duality mm. of, of the innocence, but still it has something really special. I try to compare it oh. to um, La Chasseau Papillon because it's also based on linden blossoms. Ah, yeah. L'Artisan Parfumeur. I haven't tried that. Uh, but that's paired with Hubros. It's a completely different... Oh, is this villa? Yeah. Great with fruit. Little, little flowers. flowers. Yeah, it's not it's not the dolls. The dolls okay. are much more prominent. Sweet. Romantic. Yeah, for me it's a bit too too mm. no, this is my least favourite from until now. And then this one's the dolls. Ooh, no. It smells like some kind of what does it smell like? It really, really reminds me of something. Yeah, it's dolls. Yeah. Dolls with candy. Yeah. No, this is not my favorite. I prefer that in the opening. Mm -hmm. Actually, now it's gone even sweeter. Okay, and then Galifant, the Brooklyn one was in here. Jesus, that is real straight up lemonade. lemonade. Yeah. Brooklyn lemonade. Makes me thirsty though. Yeah, sometimes I wonder, it's nicely done, but do you want to smell like lemonade? That's my opinion about this. I think this one, to me, is the least interesting one. I like it. It's not my least favorite. So I think mm -hmm. the, the, the Schweitlose Berliner was my favorite, then the Chifo, that one, two, three Stella, mm -hmm. then the Dolls and Rabbits, and then Brooklyn, and then Villa and Elcott is my least favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually like this one by Brooklyn. It does smell like lemonade, but uh, in the best way possible. Because I don't really drink or like lemonade much, but it's... Now I actually feel like lemonade. <laughs> this... This would be a nice... They're all nice summer scents. Yeah, I, I think it's really a good choice. It's... Uh, yeah, I love them all, but yeah, I have to choose for them. I don't, I don't have to choose one, but... Oh my god, but this is so stunning. This is the Schwertlose Berliner, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna order my full bottle now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I need this on my skin. I have it on my skin, let's see. Oh, so good. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Shall I? It's on my top five how I rated them. Yes. So, first for me is Dolls. Yes. And then, second is, is um, Schwarzlose Berlin. Third is Stella. Mm -hmm. 
and then uh, Villa Nelcot, and then uh, yeah, uh, Gallivant, and then the Brooklyn one. So quite similar to uh, to mine, but I think Brooklyn is quite a nice citrus. I like mm. it. Maybe because it's extra sweet. No, it's not special to me, but yeah, my, my style. I can imagine it's nice in the summer on skin. Like fresh but sweet lemonade, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna try it on my skin. Yeah, go. Cool. Or I have so. I have a sample probably, but myself. Is it a new uh, print, Gallivant? Yeah, pretty new, I think. Mm. Uh, in interesting concept. So that's the second small stories box by, from the small stories. Store yeah. the discovery box. Good choice. It's, uh, really interesting discoveries. Yeah. yeah, it's really a discovery box in the sense that you just. Mm, yeah. I haven't smelled any of these except Brooklyn, perhaps. But um. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's the that's the fun thing about fits. this. Yeah. You can really discover things that you would otherwise maybe not as a smell or gravitate. Yeah, because uh, the fr my first impression when I read it, I said, "Oh no, it's all." about ozonic notes and I hate them and I with this box I I learned to appreciate it because the first one has salty notes so I, I thought about oh yeah okay that's Cologne the the second one has it as well I think well most of them have it like the snowflake accord all also reminds me of yeah it should be Cologne and I hate it but but really I, I yeah, I love it. Yep. So, very nice box. Yep. Good. Well done, Smell Stories. Yeah, if you guys want more of these kind of videos, maybe we should get ourselves a subscription and we can do more of these. Yeah. Because this is fun. Yeah. Interesting discoveries. See you next time. Bye.